Hello friends, welcome to IBPS guide. Myself Ravi Prakasa. Today is day 44. So we are going to take boats and stream. Hard and moderate, 11 questions in total we are going to take. Now mission is SBIPO 2019. So if you have not watched day 1 and day 2 video, please watch those first because in those videos we have talked about the tips of multiplication, finding square root and all other techniques to find the, do the calculation faster. Okay. So this video is used for calculating, do the calculating, calculation faster. and also go through the previous video that is day 42 because in that video we have talked about the concept of boats and strings yeah. mm -hmm. so let us go to question number 8 what it is saying is a boat covers a certain distance downstream in 2 hours while it comes back in 2 and a half hours the speed of the stream is 5 what is the speed of the boat in still water mm -hmm. so, so downstream how much time it is taking x so if you see what is constant between them the distance between the two spaces is constant so it goes from here to here x it again comes from here to here x so distance is equal to speed into time so while it is going downstream that the speed of the boat will be plus 5 the time that is 2 and this one that is d minus 5 into time that is 5 by 2 okay then it will be how much d plus 5 into 4 d minus 5 into 5 okay. so let us solve this now what will give it 4b plus 20 is equal to 5b minus 25 b will be how much 45 the value would be 18b let us go to question number 9 a boat travels downstream for 14 km and upstream for 9 km okay. If the boat took total 5 hours so what is the speed of the river flow the speed of the boat in still water is this now so let us be given then it takes total 5 so let us assume not assume it is given a downstream distance is 14 so let us assume the speed of the boat is b plus 5 and again upstream b minus 5 now the trick to solve this problem is like most of the students please don't try to solve this problem don't take LCM and do all these things that is of no use so we are going to reach the solution faster what we are going to take is take the option option also we will take in such a manner that we will divide this upper term completely now if you take b to be 2 it will be 7 ok so 7 to the 2 then uh, because b minus 5 river flow is awesome. so this is the both of the string 5 plus b this is 5 minus b now both is 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 2 3 times that is 5 so value would be 9b So let us go to question number 10. What it is saying is both go 6 km an hour in still water. That is both speed, speed is 6. It takes thrice as much time in going the same direction against the current comparison with the direction of the current from the speed of the current direction. Okay, now the most important thing is the distance is constant. The so speed will be inversely proportional. When it is going with the current, that will be 6 plus current speed, that is as you say x and a 6 minus x that is against the current and it is inversely proportional to the time. In first case, time how much it will be? 1 and it's, when it is going downstream, it will be, time will be 1, so 1 will come here and 3. Let us cross multiply it. 6 plus x, 18 minus 3x, that is 4x is equal to 12. So x will be how much? 3. So the value will be 10 b. Let us go to question number 11. A man can go 6 km an hour in still water. The speed of the current is 2 km. It takes 4 hours more in upstream than in the downstream for the same distance. Find the distance. So, time difference is this much. So, let us assume distance is x. 6 km an hour in still water. So, 6 minus will come here because it will take more time than difference. x by 6 plus. Let us not write all this. 6 minus 2 will be 4. And 6 plus 2 will be 8. Now we are going to solve this. Let us take x out. 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8. This will be 1 by 8. Let us cross multiply. That is x is equal to 32. So the value would be 11c. Let us go to question number 12. The speed of the motor boat is that of the motor boat is that of the current is 36. The speed 
both goes along the current in five hour this month. How much time will it take to come back? So let us go to question number twelve. What it is saying is the speed of the motor boat is that of the current is thirty six fifty five. The boat goes along with the current in five hour time means how much time will it take to come back? The distance is constant, so distance is speed into time. Speed is thirty six. No need to assume speed because it will get cancelled out. Thirty six into time is how much? The first speed is five hour ten minutes. That is five one by six. That will be thirty one by six. The second case, speed is how much? Speed of the boat is that of the current in this case. Goes along with the current. The thirty six plus five will be forty one. So the again that is thirty one into ten. That is six p. So let us cancel this out. P will be forty one by six. So that is it. It is in B. Let us go to question number thirteen. A man can row a certain distance downstream and upstream. 12 hours and come back in 20 hours what is the speed of the boat and the speed of the current is 3 hours again if you see the distance is constant so value would be speed into time so what there is the speed of the boat is suppose b into 12 b minus 3 into 20 3 5 and us 3b plus 3 this will be how much pb plus 9 okay This is solved for the a b minus fifteen. So b will be two b. That is twenty four. So b will be how much? Twelve. Where is it? It is in c. Let us go to next question. That is question number fifteen. A man goes to a place sixty four kilometer distance and back in fifteen hours. Five fifteen hours. Okay. He finds that he can go six kilometer with the stream in the same time as four kilometer against the stream. Okay. Now time is constant. We have to take both. Up downstream and upstream. Downstream, how much it takes? Six. Upstream, four. So speed ratio. Now uh, this is what is it? Distance ratio. Distance is three is to two. Okay. Now time is constant, so speed value will be directly proportional. That is three is to. So let us assume speed to be three x and two x. Now total time it is given as fifteen hours. That will be sixty four divided by speed in first case, that is downstream, and speed in second case, that is two x. Okay. Let us solve this. Sixty-four by three x. Let us take x common from here. Only sixty-four by three plus sixty-four by three. Now fifteen by sixty-four is equal to one by x into five by six. So this will go by three times. This will go by how many times? This will be three times. This will be thirty-three. So x will be how much? Thirty two. Let us cross multiply it. Thirty two by nine. The value of x we have got. Now what do I mean? Find the time required to cover the place with the stream. So with the stream, sixty four is the distance. That is with the stream three x three into thirty two by nine. This three times we will go up. This will be two. That is six. The so value will be fourteen b. A boat. Let us take question number fifteen. A boat takes twenty hour, twenty one hours for travelling downstream from point A to point B and coming back to point A. The velocity of the stream is four kilometer. The speed of the boat in still water is fourteen. What is the distance between A and B? So let us assume the distance to be x. Total time how much it is taking? Twenty one hours. The distance twenty one is equal to the distance by time. How much it is going? Velocity of the stream is this much. Boat is fourteen. That is eighteen. This is x by distance that is n. Now let us take x common. Lcm of this will be ninety. This will be five times. This will be nine times. So this will be how much? Twenty one is equal to x into fourteen by ninety. This is two times. That is three times. This will be forty five. So x is how much? One thirty five. Do we have any math? We don't see none of this. Let us go to question number sixteen. What it is saying is. In the fifth time, a boat swims double the distance along the current. Let us go to question number six. So what it is saying is, in a fixed time, so fixed time means again constant. Now, what is speed is directly proportional to time. A boat swims double the distance along the current to swim against the current. If the speed of the current is three, what is the speed of the boat in still water? So, ratio of the distance is how much? Two is to one. Now, let us assume boy with the current is. B plus three and B minus three. 
that is 2b minus x b plus 3 then it will be how much b is equal to 9 the value would be 16a let us go to question number 17 so there are two places a and b which are separated by a distance of 100 k not k kilometer okay two boats start from both the places at the same time towards each other if one boat is going downstream then the other is going upstream if the speed of a and b is well, they are giving you the speed of the boats two boats okay 12 and I think the boat will be how much b 12 plus stream is suppose x and b is how much 12 minus x okay and 13 at what time will the meet, meeting time so distance between them is 100 so relative will, speed will be how much they are moving towards each other so it will be some 12 plus 13 will be 25 into time that is oh, very easy if you know the concept of relative speed for understanding relative speed please go to video day 39 and day 40 because if you know this concept only then you will be able to solve this problem faster it is a one line problem if you know the concept of relative speed okay now let us go to question number 18 so this question number 18 is a homework for you please try to solve this problem and give the solution in the comment uh, we go through the comment and see how many of you are giving the answer by giving the solution you also show that you are you have understood the concept and you have tried to solve the problem let us go to last question of the session is 19 number so this is a star mark question this is a good question so let us see how we could solve this problem what it is saying is a man can swim at the rate of 12 km per hour in still water and rate of flow is this much a wooden log started to flow with the speed of the man river and man also started to swim downstroke from the same places okay so there is a wooden log that is the wooden log and there is a man okay man is swimming so they started from the same place at the same time okay man after covering 100 km downstream returned after started to swim upstream man met the wooden log at a distance of x so man start move here 100 km this distance is 100 we again move back okay so while man is doing all this man during this entire time wooden has moved x km okay now they are asking you the value of x have they given you a time of this entire thing so time is constant now we will equate the time okay so in first case wooden stream is going x what is the speed of the wooden stream? That is the speed of the river. So speed of the river is how much? 4. So time is equal to distance by speed. And again, man is going how much? 100 is it is going with the speed of 12 plus 16. 12 plus 4. And in second case, it is going with the speed of 100. This is how much? Remaining speed is 100 minus x. Because if this is x, remaining will be 100 minus x. So plus 100 minus x divided by the difference that is 12 minus 4 is 8 now let us solve this so it will be how much let us solve it let us eliminate 4 now 100 minus x by 2 so this will be how much let us multiply with 4 that is 4x 100 that is 200 minus 2x so that will be 6x 300 so x will be how much 50 so x of value of x will be 50. So hope you have watched the entire video. If you found it knowledgeable, give it a like and please comment how you feel about the videos and don't forget to give the solution of the question if, which I have given you as homework. And do share with your friends on all the social media platforms like Facebook and also on WhatsApp group. Do subscribe to the IBPS Guide channel. So bye bye. See you in the next session.